Hi, I'm Dr. Rob Danoff for Aria Health Medical Mythbusters. You ready for your question? All right, here we go. Is this a myth or is this a fact? This over-the-counter sleeping aid and this over-the-counter antihistamine for allergies contain the same ingredient. Come on, really? Is that true? How can one have the same ingredient as the other when they're for two different purposes? So is that a myth or is that a fact? I see you thinking out there, well, for those of you who said it's a fact, you're right. This and this both contain diphenhydramine, which is an antihistamine. So why do I bring this to everyone's attention? Well, it's about medication safety. There are so many medicines out there, and so many people are on medicines, whether it's a prescription from their family doctor, or their specialist, or they're taking something over the counter, or an herbal supplement. There's medicines everywhere, so we have to try to take them safely. So where do we begin? Say you're at your doctor's office. The first thing to do is, if you're given a prescription, ask her or him, what the name of the medicine is, both the brand name as well as the generic, because some insurance plans allow substitution and often generic brands are cheaper. So that's the first thing. Also, know what the medication is for. That's really important. And no potential side effects. And when do you take it? For example, if they say take the medicine four times a day, does that mean you kind of take it four times whenever you want? Or do you have to take it like every six hours? So the dosing interval is very important. The other thing to do is, when you're given the prescription, make sure you can read the writing, because chances are, if you can't read it, the pharmacist may not be able to read it, and I'll give you an example. Say your doctor writes down a medicine and you have an allergy. Say they write down a medicine called Allegra, which is for allergies. You go to the pharmacist, she can't read it, you can't read it, so they think maybe it's for Viagra. Well, I gotta tell you, the Allegra will help your medicines. Viagra, well, that may help something else, but not your allergies. So again, that's the wrong medication. So we gotta make sure the handwriting's correctly. When you go to the pharmacist, ask to make sure that there's no interactions with any of your other medicines, and it's often good to go to the same pharmacy because they have a record of every medicine you're taking. The other thing to do is, before you even leave the doctor's office, Bring all your medicines with you, including anything you've had from the pharmacy, over-the-counter medicines, vitamins, believe it or not. Sometimes iron and vitamins can interfere with absorption of certain medications. And this way your doctor, as well as your pharmacist, will know everything you're taking. And it will be a lot safer. You want to make sure that there's no duplication, duplication of medicines, you know, one from your specialist, one from your family doctor. And then it's a lot safer for you. So, closing facts. Know your medicines, know the name as well as the generic name, know how often to take it, know any potential side effects, make sure there's no interactions with anything else you're taking, including vitamins or over-the-counter supplements, and make sure you can read the writing. For further information, please go to youraria.health.org.